Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are testing out and reviewing the Viral Foundation Tear Tear. This one is the Mask Fit Red Cushion Foundation from Tear Tear. I have been seeing this all over. You cannot escape this foundation. Okay, it is all over. And so I finally decided to purchase it and put it to the test. See what all the fuss is about because when I tell you it's everywhere, it's everywhere. I think it's Amazon exclusive. I could be wrong though. This is Japan's number one foundation, okay? Based on the details, this is supposed to be a radiant glass skin foundation, but it also states that it is a semi-matte foundation foundation. It's weightless. It's supposed to last for up to 72 hours, which we're not going to wear it for 72 hours. I don't know who would wear a foundation for 72 hours. Not me. It is also sweat proof, transfer proof, non-creasing, and it has been clinically tested to not smudge under a mask. So we're not going to wear it with a mask today, but we are going to wear it for a full day to see what it looks like on the skin, what kind of coverage it delivers. I don't believe that I have read that yet, so we'll just have to wait and see what it looks like on the skin. Now it retails for either 15 US dollars or 25 US dollars, depending on the size that you get. You get a 0.15 fluid ounce option for the $15 or you can also purchase it in 0.63 ounces, which this retails for 25 US dollars, but right now I'm seeing it on Amazon for 22.50 with Prime. I think. Now I did purchase two different shades because I just, I didn't know. I, I really, really didn't know what these are gonna look like. And I didn't wanna run the risk of not getting anything that matches my complexion. So I figured I'd be safe with two different options. Now I will be swatching them for you guys in case you, you know, use me for reference. Okay, so we're gonna start with, I purchased 23N, which is a neutral undershade, and this is sand. And I also purchased 24, N, which is latte. So we're gonna start off with the lighter of the two. Now it is, I love, I love the packaging. It's like a little egg. It's gonna fit perfectly in your purse. If you're traveling, this seems like it's gonna be perfect for travel. It comes with this little sponge, which I don't love using for foundations, but we're gonna use it today because why not? Now the foundation is underneath. You are going to, I'm assuming, this is Japanese. You're going to lift it and reveal the foundation underneath. Awesome. So before I go in with the sponge, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. It is, it, it looks like it's very, very high in coverage, like very high in coverage. I'm gonna test it down my, the side of my face, right here. That might be a little too light for me. So let's go and test 24N Latte. And this is what 24N looks like, Latte. And that I will put right next to it. I need a mirror. Okay, I'll put this right here. This is giving yellow, not neutral. Do you guys see that? It's definitely more like of a yellow tone than a neutral tone. This is more neutral. And although it's a little light, I think I'm gonna go with it overlooking too yellow. Yeah, you see that's, ooh, I don't know. Now I'm on the fence. <laughs> Where's 23? Okay, 23 sand. Let's apply that on the cheek. So let's go a little bit higher with this one and see what that looks like. Hmm, yeah. This is too yellow. So we're gonna go with 23 sand, which I think might be a little bit too light, but when it comes to foundations, I'd rather foundations be a little bit too light because I can always deepen them with a bronzer as opposed to being like just the completely wrong shade because then you look like you're wearing a mask, you know what I mean? So I'm still kind of on the fence about it. Let me test it on my chest. And I learned this from Jackie Ina. Like she will test her foundation shades on her chest. And if it doesn't match her chest, then that means it doesn't match her at all. And it really is that way a lot of the time because we are dragging our foundation like, you know, past our neck or at least to our necks. Now, is this, this is like a film that's on, is this a film? See how it looks like really blurry? Let me use something different. 
let's see here. I'm gonna pull it down and see what this looks like. So this is 23N, this is 24N. Now I think I'm gonna go with 24N because it is just blending into my skin a little bit better than 23N. That might be a little bit too light. Okay, so based on the swatch, I'm gonna go with 24N instead. Before getting started, I am going to color correct the under eye area, and then I will come back to apply foundation before finishing off with concealer. So I will be right back. All right, under eye is corrected. Let's get into this foundation. I am gonna use the little sponge that it comes with. Like I said, let's do it. Let's do it this way. We might actually even get like higher coverage with this because it is so dense that it is not going to pick up much of the foundation. It's going to deposit it onto the skin instead or much more of it. I'm still kind of on the fence because like this is really yellow. Uh, okay, whatever. Whatever, we're just gonna go with it, okay? So I'm just gonna press into the foundation a few times, pick some of that up. Let's see what this, holy cow, <laughs> oh my gosh. It is insane, the coverage. I did not think it was good. I mean, okay, I'm speechless, obviously. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's not too bad, the shade that is, because the coverage is insane oh my gosh i'm gonna drag it a little bit it seems like if you just press it into the skin look at that it is just so so high in coverage but i don't <laughs> this is a lot okay okay hold on let me pay attention here what am i doing what are you doing sarah you're blending okay you're blending my gosh, this is in an insane amount of coverage. Like, insane. Okay. So I'm gonna do half the face before I zoom you guys in so that you can see the difference. I mean, I'm sure you guys can already see the difference even just now. I mean, even around my nostril. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so high in coverage. I was not expecting that. Too bad this was not my perfect shade, honestly because this is super high in coverage. We're gonna bring it down. Okay. Oh my gosh. And then I have, I have not gone back in, by the way. This is all just with the first like few dabs into the foundation. Oh my gosh, okay, all right. around the nose. I guess like I should go into the nostril a little bit, otherwise it's gonna look a little weird. Initial thoughts, as you guys can see, this is super high in coverage. Holy cow, is this high in coverage. I guess I don't really use like super full coverage foundations anymore. Now that I'm like almost 40, I'm trying to just kind of stick to stuff that's like your skin but better, you know? But I also understand that a lot of people still like full coverage foundations, especially if you have like an event or something, you know? So this, this is it. This is that full coverage foundation, okay? I can understand why a lot of people are loving it is because a little bit of this goes a long way and it looks airbrushed. It really, really looks airbrushed. I am like kind of taken aback by how nice it looks on the skin, even though it is such a high coverage foundation. Okay, so there's half of it. Let me zoom you guys in so that you can see the before and the after up close. All right, so this is my skin, bare, nothing on it. Looks, you know, Typical unevenness, I guess. I also have like the remnants of a blemish there, but we're gonna ignore it. So that's what it looks like up close without anything. And this is what it looks like up close with just the one layer of foundation. All I have on is just the one layer. It is starting to set. It's felt light since I put it on, but it is starting to set to feel light as well. All right, so let's keep going. Okay, so for the other side, I think 
yeah, I'm gonna have to grab a little bit more. Like now I don't really have anything on this. I would recommend to use this because it does the job. Like this little applicator, usually the applicators that come with like anything compact are kind of a waste. <laughs> and I always just take them out and I use my brush or like a beauty blender or something instead. But this one is actually a good one. So definitely, definitely recommend that you use it because it looks, it makes your skin look airbrushed. So we're just gonna go with the other side. Yeah, I still think it's a little bit too on the yellow side, but I think it's gonna work. It'll work for sure. And I am getting it on my hair, but it's okay. Just keep going with it. Gosh, I'm definitely gonna have to blend it all the way down to around my neckline here. This is a full face of the foundation, just one layer, didn't build up anything. Definitely would call this foundation full coverage, like high, high coverage, okay? You don't need a lot. A little bit of this goes a long, long way. It's best to match yourself as best as possible with this one or to try to match your complexion as much as you can with this one because of the coverage. If you're completely off, people are definitely gonna notice because it's so high in coverage, but it looks so good. It looks so good up close. For a full coverage foundation, this, I mean, obviously, you know, you guys saw the before and after, so now that I'm wearing it all over the face, it might look like a little bit of a mask, but in person, this does not look heavy, heavy, you know? This does not look like, oh gosh, what's a full coverage foundation that I just no longer use? Like the only one that comes to mind that I was like, mm, that's starting to look a little bit heavy on me is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. That's the one that was kind of looking heavy or the Studio Fix from MAC, that one too. But anyway, this one looks like skin, airbrushed, if you will. It looks, definitely looks airbrushed. So let me jump off camera while I wait for it to really set also, because right now this first side is starting to feel semi-matte. This one is still feeling pretty pretty dewy, pretty radiant. I can see what they mean with the glass skin though, because just look at that. It looks flawless, flawless. So anyway, let me jump off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. All right, I am back, foundation, and everything is nice and set and ready for the day. So far, so good. This foundation feels very lightweight, okay? So it's true to its claim of feeling lightweight or weightless, rather. It feels like I don't really have anything at all. Definitely doesn't feel like I have a full coverage foundation on at all. This looks really, really nice up close. It looks airbrushed and it looks very even. So let's see how it wears. We're gonna be in the 90s today, okay? The 90s, so I'm gonna be sweating. It's gonna be humid and we're gonna really put it through the test today. It's currently 11.21 in the morning. So I'm gonna wear this all day long. I'm gonna come back halfway through the day, just like I usually do, to show you what this looks like under natural lighting, see if, you know, it has done anything or if it looks off or anything, if anything has happened up to that point, okay? So we're gonna wear it for a few hours, come back for a midday check-in under natural lighting, wear it for a few more hours, and then of course finishing off the day. So I'll see you back here in a few hours for a quick midday check-in. All right, I'm back for a quick midday check-in. It is currently 516, which means that I've had the foundation on now for almost a solid six hours. This is what it looks like up close. This is the left cheek. This is the right. Now, things that I've noticed, just got in, looked at myself really, really well, like up close. And I did notice some stuff happening here along the forehead. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's just kind of settling in on, in a weird way along the forehead. Like you can kind of see the foundation there, but you have to really be up close, you know, to be able to notice it. I also noticed like on the sides of my nose, it's kind of like settling and separating, but nothing 
too, too noticeable. I've noticed the foundation kind of wearing off here, of course, along the nose, but also here along the nostrils, which only looks really weird because of the two different shades that you see there. So that's that around the nose and around the mouth. My smile lines look a little accentuated. And up close, you can see that there's just a tad bit of settling here and here. And of course, more wearing off of the foundation here along the upper lip area. I mean, you know, I've had it on for a little while. I've eaten since I first put it on and I've just kind of been living life. Like I said, it is like 93 degrees outside right now, but it feels like 98, like almost 100. So super hot. I have been out, I have been sweating and you can clearly see that I look a little tiny bit dewy and maybe that's contributing to like why the foundation looks a little bit crazy right there along the forehead. But other than that, I mean, I guess, I guess we're still looking pretty good. So I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm gonna continue to wear this for another three hours, maybe pushing it to four. We'll see how the day goes, but yeah, I'll keep wearing it. And then of course I'll see you guys back here in a few more hours for my final end of day check-in. All right, I am back for the final check-in of the day. It is currently, what time is it? It is 8.06 in the evening, which means I've had this on for almost a solid nine hours. Now, before I get into what I think about this foundation after wearing it for an entire day, I'm gonna zoom you guys in one last time so that you can get a good look around the face after a full day of wear. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a forehead. I think that you may be able to see this better with this camera and lens versus my phone camera and lens. What I was talking about, you know, along the forehead during my midday check-in, this is kind of what I was talking about right here. It's just kind of like clinging on to my skin in weird ways here along the forehead. It almost looks like it's just kind of gathered right there. I don't know. I I don't love it, okay? I don't love it right there on the forehead. It does not look great. Moving on to the left side of my face, I'd say still, still full coverage, still there. And I have the same situation over here on the right. Now, when we get to around the nose and mouth, that is when you can see a lot more of the things that I have an issue with, okay? The things that I'm gonna mention right here. You can see it's all gone around my mouth. And I, I made the effort, I truly made the effort to not like wipe my mouth. Obviously my lip liner is gone, my gloss is gone. I've been living life for nine hours of my day. So, you know, things wear off, but I wasn't expecting for everything to come off around the lip. That's, I think that's me being nitpicky, okay? So we're gonna excuse the foundation from that. However, around the sides of my nose, it just looks yucky. I don't love that, I don't love that, and I don't love the way that it is sitting just along my mouth, like right here. I don't love the way that it looks right here and of course right here along the forehead. The cheeks, if everything looked the way that the cheeks do, I would love this foundation, but this look, it's everywhere. I mean, it's not everywhere. That's my issue. <laughs> it's kind of just worn off at this point. Okay, so as you can probably guess, not my favorite foundation, not my most favorite foundation. Is it awful? No. I understand why it went viral. I definitely get why people really love this foundation and really latched onto it. It's full coverage, it feels like nothing, and it looks beautiful when you first apply it. Your skin looks nice and airbrushed, everything looks so even and smooth. It just looks great. However, it's it's supposed to last for 72 hours. It's just such a crazy claim, but it's supposed to last for 72 hours. I guess technically it did because I still have the foundation around the face, you know, but it wore off and it wouldn't be a big deal if this wasn't such high coverage because you can clearly see where the foundation ends and where my skin starts like all over my face. I mean, it looks like I have a yellow mustache. You know, like I have a stash, it's just not yellow. 
<laughs> I'm just, you know, because it is so high in coverage, you're gonna be able to see where it wears off throughout the day. For me, it was mainly here. I always have foundations wear off here along the nose and of course around the mouth because like I said, we're eating, we're talking, we're smiling, we're living life. And so, you know, it happens. However, it's, it's very obvious and that is why I will keep the foundation. I will wear the foundation, but I will not use it on just like for as an everyday foundation. This is just going to be like a special occasions type of foundation. I'm not a full coverage gal anymore anyway. I definitely prefer more of a medium coverage foundation, kind of like the Fenty one. The last Fenty one that I reviewed, that one's great. The NARS, the light luminizing foundation, that one's really good too. Like there's just a lot of better options if you're looking for that like radiant glow, that like just very healthy look that's not like super full coverage and that's not gonna look like this at the end of the day. But, but if I have like, you know, a party to go to or if I need, if I want to get glammed up for an evening, then this is probably what I will use. This is by far my most high coverage foundation that I currently own. So if I'm looking for full, full coverage, if you're looking for full coverage, like max full coverage, this is a good one. But I just don't know about it lasting all day long and looking the way that it did at the beginning of the day, you know? If it looked as great as it did in the morning, kind of like for the majority of the day or for most of the day, I guess majority most kind of the same thing, but you know what I mean? Like if it would have kept looking like that for an extended period of time, then I would have loved it. But I already had issues going into like halfway through the day. You know what I mean? So anyway, is it awful? No. Do I understand why it went viral? Yes. Will I be reaching for this over and over and over again? Probably not. I mean, like I said, full coverage, sure, but not for an everyday. And that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you guys. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.